Cynthia Lawson Jaramillo's light boxes are photographs which are digitally collaged, layered in glass, and backlit. Her series study how people move through spaces and time. The most recent light boxes depict the JFK airport in New York, as well as a museum in Rio de Janeiro. I recently spoke with Cynthia about her work at the Mad Arts Gallery in Brooklyn. So please describe your pieces from the Lightbox series. One of my most recent works is called Mac, Three Seconds Outside. And it's a piece that uses images that I photographed in uh, Niteroi, Brazil. Uh, the architect Niemeyer uh, designed the Museum of Contemporary Art there. And it's this uh, just absolutely intriguing spaceship looking like uh, building. And what my work does is it documents the movement of people or pedestrians through public spaces or semi-public spaces. So this piece um, is just outside of the museum. You see the, uh, the building head on right in the center of the photograph occupying most of the frame. Uh, absolutely gorgeous blue sky right around it and you see Rio in the background and then uh, within the light box um, what you get a sense of is people moving in that scene. What I do in my work is I take multiple photographs of one place from one same location and then I print them on transparencies and between each transparency I insert a piece of plexiglass and the idea is that uh, when you backlight the piece, you can see the space through time. So in this particular piece I'm describing, you see these three young women moving from being very close to the building, uh, and as the layers get closer to you, they're moving closer to you. So in addition to Brazil, what have you, what areas have you studied in the past? And how, and also how has I guess studying it in this format changed your perception of that, those places? Hmm. Well, it's, it's a great question. I, this series actually started um, when I was in Tokyo. And in Tokyo, I was photographing um, a lot inside the subway stations there. And I didn't have a video camera, and I've done a video art before. And I was thinking, well, is there any way that through these photographs I've taken, I could start to represent the chaos that I had just kind of documented through still images of that one place? Um, so that is what led me to develop these series of light boxes. It was this sense of maybe if I start superimposing the images where you start to get an accumulation of people and crowds over time, then you would get a sense of the experience of being in a subway station in Tokyo at rush hour or at a train station. Where, like, would you like to study in the future with this Lightbox series? Like, what different places are you thinking about? I'm most interested in what is the content of the work. So I've been kind of documenting and reading and developing artist statement around how pedestrians activate public space and Michel de Certeau saying that a, ped a public space without people, it's like a sentence that no one is reading. And I want to have more of a social or humanitarian connection with my work. So I've been thinking about um, starting to document different kinds of um, places like fa the favelas in Rio de Janeiro as opposed to the high-end contemporary art museum. Is there a specific example, uh, maybe in Brazil, where you've uh, studied a particular, I guess, structure or building or an urban space and it really changed your mind about that place? The Pompidou Museum in Paris, there's this sloping courtyard in front of it. And there are these um, two metallic, huge cylindrical vents that come out of the ground. And so everybody immediately recognizes it as, oh, that's in front of the Pompidou in Paris. It's also very interesting how the courtyard, it's just in the photographs, it, it, there's no signage, there's, there are no arrows. And yet when you start to see the directions that people take, they're usually crossing it diagonally they're not ever wandering around the plaza. They're just walking in straight lines. And so I thought that was interesting. How could one redesign it or create signage that would then encourage people to take slightly different paths? Is there, I guess, an ideal place you could see your work being displayed in relation to other light box? Like, have you ever done a show of all, all of your light box work together? I think an, an ideal place to show my work would be in the 
spaces in which I photograph them. So I would, I did a series in the subway in New York and I proposed it to the MTA Arts for Transit. Now that they have those backlit ads in the subway station, I think it could be interesting to see them there. Um, I've been developing some proposals for some uh, arts and public spaces grants in New York where I would kind of thoroughly document that place and then people would be able to see possibly themselves, possibly not, relate to a certain scene from a different day through light boxes. So look at my work in public spaces in New York at night. I would love to see that. Okay, again. awesome. Thank you very much. Sure, you're welcome.